Yeah, you know what else, awesome. man? You know, you know, people wouldn't agree with this, bro. But listen, I used to my ex fiance, right? You know, on the on mm -hmm. the side of me trapping and shit, I wanted more money, bro. And on the side of her paycheck, I wanted more money. So you know what I made this bitch do? I made her go on dates with old ass men, get a fuck ton of money from them, not fuck them, cause if they fucked them, I'ma pull up with a fucking ratchet and blast their ass to fucking sunshine. But listen, bro, that is like one of the best occupations you can have, bro. If I was a bitch, bro, I'd be finessing these old ass niggas, bro, because this bitch got shoes, got me shoes, got fucking money, bro. Talk about spending that shit on some cocoa every other fucking week, goddamn. Talking about eight balls, bro. Fuck. I miss that kind of money, man. Jesus Christ. I was a hustler back Easy then. Easy money. Easy money. I'm, I mean, I'm more calm now. I'm more chill than what I was oh, when shit. I was younger. Sorry. Somewhat. Not at all, really. Yeah, dude, t tell us about your old days. Tell us about when you went hard. <laughs> oh, fuck. You don't know about when I went there. hard, man. I can tell you when I got robbed for the first time. Yeah. It was a very, very intricate fucking deal, man. So I'm not, that's one thing I'm not gonna say their names, but uh, I remember there was these uh, homeboys I worked with, and uh, I went to uh, there was this really big Xanax deal that we were gonna do. I think it was like four hundred dollars worth of Xanax, and uh, after we set up everything, the whole location and drop off and all that shit, I drove up to there one night, and uh, it was the back of this apartment place, and it was like down this alleyway where you would like you could enter and exit and shit, and there was like nobody out there at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And uh, I remember pulling up, my home dog got in the uh, back seat, and the dude that we were, you know, getting our shit from, he was in uh, passenger seat. And uh, man, bro, I should have known better, bro. I didn't even lock my fucking door, bro. If I had locked my door, that shit would have never happened. But dude, this shit was played so smart, right? So listen, so the home dog's in the back, dude that we copping off of is on the side. So my home dog uh, reaches through the seat, right, to hand him the money. And then that dude yeah. to hand him the stuff that we needed. So as he's like doing that, I'm like, bro, like hurry the fuck up. Like, what are you taking so long for, bro? He's like, I'm trying, bro. It's tight through here. And I'm like, man, something bad's gonna fucking happen. By God, I was fucking right. Dude, not even fucking 30 seconds later, my door gets swung open. I got a fucking Glock to my head. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fucking sitting there, bro. Got a fucking gun to my head. And this dude's reaching out with his hands. He's like, give me all your shit. He's like, give me everything you fucking got. And this fucking wow. dude that we were buying our shit from wasn't trying to give up his shit. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna fucking die, bro. This bullet gun went through my head and that nigga's head. <laughs> so I'm like sitting there and my fucking dog in the back's like telling him, he's like yelling, he's like, give him your shit, bro. So he hands his shit up to me, right? And then the fucking dude that we we're copping off hands the drugs over. But the, this is the thing though, this is what I thought about at that time. The dude that had a gun up to my head never reached in my pockets. He only asked if I had anything. I said, nah, I ain't got shit, I'm broke as fuck, right? And that's, that was sus right there, that was instantly sus, because yeah. I didn't get robbed. And I'm like, why did everybody else get robbed of my ass, right? So after he gets all the shit and everything, bro, bucks it, bro. Fucking runs off and shit, man. So I'm like sitting there. I'm like in shock. I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, I fucking knew it. So like the, uh, my homeboy gets out of the car. He's like, what the fuck you doing? We just got robbed. And he starts running off. And that's when I fucking start peeling out of there. I drop that new back off. And he's like, you set this up, you piece of shit. He's like, I don't even got my fucking rat with me. I should have brought that shit. I would have blasted both of your asses. And I kicked that motherfucker hard, bro. I spartan kicked that nigga out of my car, bro. <laughs> and I peel off. I get back to my crib, bro. Call up my homegirl. Told her what happened everything. And I'm like sitting there like, God, dude, this is bad, 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 right? So the nigga, uh, my home dog comes. And then the dude that, uh, okay, listen here. So. The, my homeboy, my other homeboy, he's got all these tattoos and shit, right? And this nigga was fresh out of prison, too, bro. Fresh out of fucking prison, bro. Straight up yeah. convict, man. And uh, I should have never trusted that nigga, bro. But, like, so, basically, he gets to my place, and I'm like, I looked at his arm, bro. The guy that had a, the Glock to my head had tattoos all up his arm. I look at my homeboy, he's got the same fucking oh. tattoo. And I sit there, and I'm like, you, I'm like, you play oh. me for a bitch, don't you? He's like, what the fuck you talking about? And he gets all in my face and shit. He's like, I'm going to rock your shit if you keep talking that bullshit. And I was like sitting there and I was smiling and shit. And my homegirl's like, you need to chill out. He's like, she's like, you throw hands in this place. I'm going to break your fucking arm. Break both yeah, your ass. Get that guy so he tried to, to, this nigga tried to convince me, bro. This nigga tried to convince me that he didn't be doing all this shit. Like he was like, I didn't have no part of this. I was I was on my way to fucking, I was on my way to fucking uh, Miami and shit. I'm like, no, the fuck you weren't. I'm like, there is no goddamn way you drove that fucking fast back here fucking 45 minutes after all this shit happened when you almost there. I'm like, that's not how this shit fucking works, bro. So he leaves and shit. 
And after that, bro, didn't fuck with none of them, bro. Fucking, uh, like, uh, I think it was like four months later, I got this job at this factory, and I pull up at the, uh, the guard gate. Guess who it fucking is? My home dog in the back. Sitting there fucking, uh, opening the gates and shit, chilling in there. And he sees me, bro, his eyes get big as fuck, and he walks over, bro. And I'm like, you got fucking five seconds to tell me the goddamn truth. I'm like, either that or I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna bust your fucking ass. And that's when he tells me everything was set up. He said, he didn't, they didn't want me to know because they felt like they couldn't trust me and shit. So they set it up on their own and had me, uh, be the, be the driver so that they could rob and make it easier on themselves. And I'm like, you fucking fake ass motherfucker. Well, I found, found out after that, a uh, fucking convict dude ended up robbing him too. <laughs> Jacked all his shit, <laughs> fucked all his shit, bro. And that nigga went off, oh, bro. That nigga will laugh, bro. Never to be seen again. <laughs> Talk about some goddamn karma, bro. But you know, man, it's like it is what it is, bro. That's some, that was one of the wild shit that happened to me. Hell I tell yeah. you, the first shot I ever seen. Oh yeah, Man, bro. Can, listen, no, no, so I can't. I can't imagine Man. being robbed, dude. Just you streaming? Oh like, man, like, you know nah. they talk about your first time you get robbed, you usually piss yourself, bro. That was probably oh, the most God. calm I've ever I'm been in my entire over. life. <laughs> That's the most relaxed <laughs> I've probably ever been. You got a gun to your head, you're not gonna fucking move. Fuck no, you're in a shit my position. <laughs> yeah, I'm like not enough. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen, 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 listen. listen. Listen about this. Now, the first time this is <laughs> listen, listen, listen. So, like, this is when I lived in those uh, you know, like townhouses and shit where they got the apartments set up and they got like all yeah. the townhouses, like two, like two townhouses connected to each other, and then yeah, it's like an up, like an alleyway through it, and then you got yeah. another two townhouses. So, like on the back, like so, you got your back porch, right? And, uh, I had my boy Steel, dude, this Jamaican nigga could cut hair so goddamn good, bro. And it was for free, bro. As long as I smoked them out, we were straight. And, uh, so it was, like, me, my boy Steel, this other, this, uh, fall hair. I'll ask some all you nigga, bro. Uh, Paul, he was, I don't even know that nigga's real name. I, we just called him Paul. His real name. His, like, legal name was fucking retarded as fuck. And then this boy Andrew. So we're all chilling, bro. Fucking sipping on that, sipping on that fucking good shit, bro. Just sit smoking, bro. And we're chilling, right? And then you got the alleyways, right? So you got you sit on the back porch. You got the alleyways that go through, right? So listen, this dude was cutting my hair, right? This is this is the first time I've ever been experienced with this shit. So I was being a little bitch, bro. So this dude cutting my hair, right? Straight chilling, you know, relaxing. And this is like down the alleyway, all you hear is these two niggas yelling at each other, bro. It was so goddamn inaudible, they were screaming so fucking loud at each other. <laughs> now, so he's sitting here, bro, he's on, he already finished the other side of my head, he's working on my fate on my other side. And then that's, bro, that's when you just start, start hearing shots go off, bro. You hear one, two, three, the fucking fourth one ricochet down the alleyway and hits right fucking next to my goddamn head. Hits the fucking concrete of my fucking townhouse, bro. That con Dude, that thing with that, getting sh like a bullet passing it, bro, that shit cracks, bro. That shit's loud as fuck, man. <laughs> loud as fuck. Bro, talk about jumping up so goddamn quick. This nigga is shaving my head mid fucking pause, bro. Fucking goes right at the back of my fucking head. Bro, all my hair gone, bro. I open up that damn sliding glass door. Fire, we all falling all over each other and shit, bro. Fucking step on each other's legs and shit, trying to get so goddamn quick in that place, bro. Fucking, fucking 20 minutes later, bro. JSO down there and shit. Fucking, <laughs> fucking nigga on the loose with a gun. <laughs> Dead ass nigga down the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy, bro. I just like talk about you can't even goddamn sit on your porch just trying to chill and shit. But the best part was, bro. <laughs> best part about it, man. That nigga fucked up my hair, so he ended up shaving all the sides and got rid of the face. <laughs> People don't fucking understand, bro. That shit's loud as fuck when a bullet hits right past you. It Yo, breaks fucking sound. That cracking sound, bro. It's like, oh, Yo, man, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I know you better than anybody else. You know damn well what that shit sound like. Fucking deafening ass noise, bro. <laughs> it's like a goddamn whip. <laughs> Yo, like, no matter what headset you got on, no matter what helmet you got on, you hear that crack. It's like, fucking, yep. <laughs> I'll leave. No matter where you are, you're running. You gotta I'm go. Getting down.
gotta go. <laughs> shit loud as fuck, oh, man. man. But you know what? People yeah, talk a lot of shit about the hood and everything, but you know, you're not gonna have as much fun anywhere else, to be honest. True. If you survive. Yeah, if you survive. It's good times. <laughs> Most of it's good times. Except for this one dude, bro. I knew this nigga. I, it was like the first two weeks of me moving in there. Uh, I remember uh, there was this dude that lived like four doors down from me. And uh, I, talk, I used to talk to him and shit. And uh, one day I came home from work and my roommate was outside and we were all sitting there smoking a blunt. And then out of nowhere, all you see is JSO. And then you see the FBI roll up. Fucking <laughs> 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 fucking two weeks after meeting this nigga, bro. This dude was in his. Um, I saw my my plug uh, two doors down from me. That nigga moonwalked so goddamn quick back into his fucking place, bro. <laughs> bro, he was fucking, bro, man. So I look at I look at my my roommate and we like we book it inside, bro. We fucking slammed that door, put all the lock, all three fucking locks on, bro. Fucking took that, even the other latch that goes across and shit. <laughs> fucking went to the, we, we frosted our door and everything, bro. We had it, we took all of Yo, what's up? What happened? I don't know, sign over here. I just want to go. I am here to say happy birthday. Sure. Oh, hey, thank you. Just in time because I'm about to head off. Well, it was an awesome birthday, and then it chilled down. Well, I mean, quote unquote, chilled down near that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to go end my stream and just delete my. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to delete it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can edit it out and whatnot. <laughs>